you may have missed it. There's a lot of food on the bar and it's there to eat. So uh, if you want to grab something to eat, try to have to wait another five minutes before we get started. And uh, help yourself to uh, something to eat. I've killed my rush there. <laughs> Good evening to the candidates who have uh, graciously <coughs> the invitation to come out at reasonably short notice tonight. Um, I do have apologies from three candidates who were unable to rearrange previous commitments and uh, um, were genuinely sorry they couldn't be here. Uh, that's Andrea Shawthorpe, Gray Baldwin and uh, Jared Gallagher. So um, Tonight, people, is intended to be a time for us to hear what the candidates have to say. And um, beyond that, time permitting, and there will be some time, uh, there will be time for you to ask questions of them. Each candidate uh, has been given three minutes with a little bit of grace on that to introduce themselves and to make their presentation. Candidates, you are going to be timed. Um, the bell will go at three minutes. Please wrap up, literally and otherwise, um, shortly after you hear the bell or before if you want. That's fine. Um, only at the conclusion, after everyone has spoken, will there be any questions entertained. <coughs> questions are to be directed through me, please, as the chairman. When you're invited to um, ask your question, please can I ask, and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of everyone here, we don't want to hear a lengthy explanation and a big, long, rambling background. We want to hear your question. Um, so don't make a statement, simply Stand, please, state your name, name the candidate you wish to address, and then ask your question. The candidate will have one minute to answer that question, and after they have, if it's addressed to one of the mayoral candidates, the other two will then have a minute to also answer that question. And the same goes for the ward candidates. I shouldn't um, have to say this, but I'm going to say it. This is not intended to be a forum for anyone to vent their spleen, either at the existing council or at any of the candidates present. If you've got an axe to grind, or a hobby horse to ride, or you're looking for a forum in which to be heard, you're in the wrong place. Okay, so let's keep it positive and uh, give everyone a chance tonight. These folk who are standing for, as candidates are making a sacrifice uh, as they offer to serve our community. So I would ask tonight that we respect that and we give them all equal time to be heard. Um, other centres are holding their own meetings, so tonight we <coughs> just have limited this to the Bataru ward candidates and the mayoral candidates. Now just before we start off, and the uh, ward candidates are going to speak first, they have drawn um, numbers for speaking order. So um, nothing's rigged or anything as to who speaks first or last or came out in the draw. But um, just on, a, on a, another subject, but a subject that may come up in what's being said tonight, um, a lot of you will have heard about the Pataru Moving Forward project that's going on at the moment, the group that are working towards the future and long-term plan for Pataru. We do have available tonight on the table just by the pillar uh, over there, um, some drawings, some concept drawings of possibilities for what could be done to some of the shop frontages in town as part of that project, and also a survey, and uh, this is a chance for public feedback. Uh, there are survey forms there, they only take about five minutes to fill out. You can either fill it out and, and leave it here with us, or take it away. You can also go online, and there is a, um, a setup survey monkey, if you're familiar with that, that you go online and, and do the survey online. All right, so we're here to uh, meet the candidates. Our first speaker tonight from the uh, ward candidates is Rachel. <laughs> My name's um, Rachel O'Connor and I live down 
Matera Road. I was born in the Impetata Maternity Hospital. Um, when my father worked for New Zealand Road Services, so we got a house and he moved us to Tagaroa, so I went to school in Tagaroa. Yeah. Uh, so this is my first time at standing for, a, for council as a candidate, but it won't be the first time that I'm in a government role. So I have some experience here. I'm not going to talk about any issues. I was reading the uh, district, the annual plan. It made some good reading, but um, I'm not fluent enough in it to answer any questions there or to make any statements that I'm not sure of. Um, one of the strengths I do bring to uh, this role is the fact that I'm, um, I like reading and I have a I'm able to uh, read with an analytical force behind it. So, um, and I'm not afraid to answer is ask the hard questions. So, uh, yeah, on my quest to representing the residents of the Charters and Wards. So, I'd like to thank the organisers for giving me the opportunity to stand here and speak to you, and also thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your attention. Good. Thank you. 